Claire, and I'm from Great Basin Observatory. And today we get to talk about one of my favorite topics, the stars. Stars are giant spheres of super hot gas made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Did you know that our sun is a star? This is what the sun looks like from the Earth. But as we zoom into space, we can see that it actually is a big flaming ball of hydrogen and helium, just like all the other stars. The sun is the closest star to Earth. All those other stars are very, very, very far away. And so they just look like tiny dots in our night sky. When these tiny dots, or stars, make a pattern in the sky, we call them constellations. Here's an example of a constellation we're going to be using today in our activity. Can anybody tell me what it's called? It's called the Big Dipper or Ursa Major. The distances between stars in constellations can be very, very far. We measure this distance in light years. A light year is the distance light travels in one Earth year. So one light year is about six trillion miles. That's a six with 12 zeros behind it. Our sun is the closest star to us and it's still about 93 million miles away. Our sun's light takes about 8.3 minutes to reach us. The next closest star to earth is 4.3 light years away. That's 25 trillion miles. That star is called Proxima Centauri and is in a whole different solar system than Earth. To put all this in a different perspective, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft travels at a speed of 60,000 kilometers per hour, which is super fast. For this spacecraft to travel the distance from Earth to Pluto, it would take nine years, which means for the spacecraft to get from Earth to Proxima Centauri, it would take 78,000 years. Whoa. There's so much more to learn about stars, so make sure you watch the videos in the lesson plan. All right, I think you're ready to start the activity. You're gonna learn about star size, constellations, distances, and even a little bit about star color. It's gonna be very exciting. Have fun and good luck. Bye. Mm -hmm.